Hi guys, it's Kirsten with LuLaRoe Kirsten Ott. It is a monumental day here. I think today is the day I'm gonna get my call, or at least hopefully soon. People with dates a little before mine and people with dates a little after mine have been getting called, so I think it's the time. It is also the first day of snow here in late October. Anyways, I have been using my time wisely in the queue, and I really think the wait has been a blessing. It really allows you to get organized and be prepared. And I know one of the things I did was I watched a ton of YouTube videos. I've taken a ton of notes on everything from writing a business plan to what supplies you need to buy. And I found all of them very helpful. So I wanted to make a short video on what supplies that I purchased with links, but I find it somewhat difficult to look at the links in a YouTube format. So what I've done is done a blog post with all the links, a lot of pictures, and some um, text on why I like certain things and why certain things didn't work out, things you might want to order early because they take a long time to come in, etc., etc. So I did lay out a few of things that I wanted to highlight here, and I also really want to give you a comparison of racks because I purchased a few different commercial racks and some worked out really great and some maybe not so much. So I want to do that at the end of the video. Wanted to start off with the mannequin. Um, a lot of the videos mention that you should get a size X small, and that is really true. The outfit that I have on the mannequin right now is a um, 3X Carly and an extra large Joy, and you can pin the excess fabric in back. I also have tested extra, extra small items, and they fit on it. So this way, with one mannequin or one dress form, these really aren't mannequins, you can do a range of items. So I wanted to point that out. And one of the things that I think will really be a game changer, it's on Amazon, is this hanger holder. Um, it is very simple and it allows you to, when you're bringing people out at a pop-up or at your home, just kind of put the hangers and have them in an organized fashion. So I think that's gonna be great. The bags. Um, I don't have an Ikea by me, so I did have to order Ikea bags through Amazon where they're a little more expensive. This is the extra large bag, and you can see it is great because it has, you can make it a backpack. However, you'll notice that it is not nearly as big as the LuLaRoe bags that they sell on the site. You can see there, there is a pretty good size difference. The LuLaRoe, um, I'm told you can do quite a few clothes in there with the hangers and just put them by styles in. Also, it's really cute, has a little cute name tag, Lularo on the handles, who doesn't like a pink bag? So for me, I think those are great. They are often out of stock, but if you just keep checking, they do replenish them. Another item that I did at home was bought packs on Etsy of sizing charts and price charts, printed it out on the computer, and then framed it. I'm going to play around and see if I can get rid of the white space, but otherwise I think it looks great, looks real professional and easy to do. So that's another item. Branding is really important to me. So um, I know we don't always have bags in the starter kits, and also I wanted some larger bags. So what I had done was I designed some labels and had them printed. They're three inch round labels and they will look great on some bags and there are links to where I got these bags in fun LuLaRoe colors. So that's an item there. I also purchased some smaller bags and I think for a pair of leggings or two, if for some reason I don't get the LuLaRoe bags in my welcome kit, these are very easy and there's links to those as well. Um, I do, there's been many threads in the QB groups that these bags on um, Amazon, the supplier that everyone uses, really take a long time to come and the customer service is bad. I bought these from a woman on Etsy and they're fabulous. Um, in addition to these bags, I did get just plain poly mailers for when I have one or two pairs of leggings or one item. And again, a little branding with some cute, be a, um, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, be sweet on the inside, and then our tagline. Once again, just branding your product. Um, cards. I did my business cards on the LuLaRoe site and it took no time at all. They're fantastic, they came, they're good price, they're home office approved. I also did some things, some postcards, 
um, a You've Been Spotted card where I bought the design off of Etsy and then had them printed. That does take a little time. I have these, but I don't have some, my, some of my other cards have not come yet. So you do want to give yourself some time for those. Um, size hangers. I could find every size hanger except for extra, extra small. And I did put that out on the QB groups and people mentioned that those are extremely hard to find. What I plan to do is have extra small and put both extra, extra small and extra small in with the extra smalls, but to use the little size hangers that go over a coat hook. Um, I got those from Discount Sizing. They are still not here. People in the past have had the same comments on other videos that they take a while to come. When they do come, which I got um, notification in an email that they're on their way so soon, I have these cute little crystal light containers that I made by size, so I'll always know where these are. Um, and it's a great use for my obsession with washi tape. Um, this is a ladder from Target, and what I plan to do with it, it's a blanket ladder off of Target.com, is use this propped up against a background to take photographs of the leggings. I'm gonna see how it goes, um, but I think it's a great way to showcase a pair of leggings. I can also fit quite a few in here for pop-up sales and whatnot, but I have some other ideas for you on legging storage. Um, switching gears for a moment. And I also wanna mention the LuLaRoe tablecloth. It rocks. Um, I got that off of Etsy, and I think it just makes for a great backdrop. I'm not planning on using it in here. I just, I actually have two rooms that I'm kind of using as a little room in the front of our home. I just did this so you could see it. And also if you put the table on bed risers, it allows you a lot of space underneath. Um, laminating machine, Amazon Basics. It allows me to laminate size chart. Also off of Etsy as a set, has all of the items I'm gonna be carrying. You can put them right on a rack with some tape. And then things that I put on a table, you can frame so you don't have to laminate. Hangers. There's all kinds of ideas on hangers. I did want to show you, I purchased the velvet hangers off of Amazon. Love them. I also found them at HomeGoods, a pack of 50 for $20. So I've been buying them locally as well. I need some more. I like this. It's easier to kind of store them in this box versus the Amazon box. So that's basic hangers. Some pants hangers I bought off of Amazon. They're fine, they're plain, they mesh well with the black. I did some kids hangers off of Am um, Amazon and then also some kids pant hangers. And then finally, I was looking locally for um, fixture places and I found a spot an hour away and they had these fantastic hangers on closeout, a hundred for $10, $9.99. And they just clip and they work really great with a pair of leggings so I purchased these as well so um, all of these links like I mentioned are in my blog post which will be linked to this video and now I want to show you the racks okay so racks um, we are not permanent in this so I didn't want to put anything on the wall so we have um, this big commercial Z rack they're a little bit more money but they're very sturdy they're extremely tall I'm six feet tall and, well, no I'm not, I'm 5'10", almost 5'11", so almost six feet tall and you can see this is quite a bit taller than I am. I put a 3X Cassie on here and then 3X and some various size Maxis and they both don't hit the floor so you see we have plenty of space for those. So this is this rack and in a minute I'll compare it to some of the others. Then these are the waterfall racks and I really think they're going to be great. I have one for one size and one for tall and curvy. These are just the one size I happen to have. There are 36 balls that go the length and you can put up to three um, leggings comfortably on each slot. So that gives you quite a few leggings that you can have and they're not very, um, since the leggings are so light, it's going to be no problem and the base is extremely steady. Um, so there's a link to this as well. Okay, and then finally the commercial racks, the collapsible commercial racks. I wanted to show you, this was the one I purchased first, 
and it was a little cheaper and it was linked in a lot of people's videos and I did link it um, on my blog post. I'm not as happy with this one. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a bit shorter and the long dresses really don't fit on it and it's also not quite as wide. It does telescope out as does this other one, but I just think something that raises up a little more is helpful. So I'm gonna pull this out of the way and these I did get six of. Um, to start off with and on here I have some 3x Anna dresses some Sarah's some joys and they do not hit the bottom this is it at its top capacity and I also if you can see I have it up against the Z rack which is the really heavy-duty one how much taller that Z rack is and here uh, let's get this out of the way um, on the Z rack I have it set up to do shirts so I have some larger perfect tees and a classic tee on the top and then down on the bottom over so you can see where my husband put in the extra bar they are some lar um, extra 3xl I think at least one to test the size Irma's so you will see that they fit so this is going to hold a whole lot of shirts so that's what I did rack wise and there's a lot more information in the blog post on the racks. And like always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Make sure you do go to the website, which is lularoekirstenott.com and look at the blog post and it has all the links and a lot of great information. And finally, if you're looking for a Lularo sponsor, I'd love to talk with you. My time spent in the queue was spent researching, planning, and documenting the journey so far. And I did that so I'd be able to help others. My why is of course part family financially based, but also a big part is the mentoring for me. Leading teams and helping others is really my thing. So I'd love to talk to you. 